Hey guys, Ryan with Blue Dolphin Fitness. Today showing you how to use self myofascial release for the hamstrings. I'm gonna do this from a seated position. I'm gonna use a five inch foam core ball to do this. Um, again, we're gonna be using a pressure inhibition into a pin and stretch technique. Pretty simple stuff. You do have three heads to your hamstrings, outer and inner, or lateral, medial, bicep femoris on the outside, membr membranosis and tendinosis on the inside. And again, inside hamstrings, flex the knee and turn the toe in outside hamstrings, turn the toe out and pull it back. So make sure you know which ones you're targeting because sometimes all three aren't short or taut. You wanna focus on the ones that are relevant. Uh, again, you would just need to talk or check in with your movement specialist to determine which ones are which. So today I'm just gonna show you how to do it on the lateral ones. So I'm gonna place the ball under my hamstring on the outside. I can roll my leg back and forth and you can feel the different heads of the hamstring. Again, it's above the muscular tendinous junction, so if you run your fingers underneath the crease of the knee, you'll feel some tendons. Just make sure that it's higher than that, closer to your butt. I'm gonna roll the ball back and forth, isolate the muscle head, and then just let the weight of the, the leg push down, so it's squishing the muscle between the ball and the femur, and we're just taking the slack out of the muscle. Shouldn't take very long, but that pressure into the muscle is gonna tension your tendons. In the tendon, there are receptors or nervous system receptors. Since that pressure creates a relaxation in that tissue, it'll soften the ball, sink in. It's called a passive inhibition. Once you get there, you can let it sink and sit there for a little bit, and you can begin to straighten the knee. So you're gonna pull that knee into flexion, actively stretching the muscle between the ball and the femur. It's called a pen and stretch, or an active stretch inhibition. So once I do that, I'll pull it to the next barrier of stretch resistance. The receptors in the muscle are gonna sense that and clench it down. It's gonna get stiff again. It's the nervous system stretch resistance. It's gonna soften again. Ball will sink in. Once you get to that point, got some pressure on those collagens, you can stretch it a little bit deeper, straightening the knee. If I'm on the lateral side, my toe is pointed in, so we can isolate the, again, bicep femoris, that outside hamstring head. And you can go through multiple rounds of that. Doesn't take a lot of time. You can do that two or three times pressure inhibition, wait for it to sink, stretch through it, pressure inhibition, so on. And again, pretty simple stuff, but it should increase your knee extension and your hip flexion. So you should have a better range of motion for overall limb advancement. Any questions on any of this, admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com, but again, self myofascial release or passive to active inhibition.